Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on the full fat Discovery 5. As you can see, we've stood Chris behind the car today. <laughs> For scale. For scale, where I was stood behind there in the last video and nobody could actually see me. <laughs> We're going to be cracking on with this one. We've had so many bits arrive. The panels are actually back from paint. We've got the wing there, we've got the front bumper and also the bonnet. And just round the back we've got and it was only recently in the comment section that someone did mention this as well and said, have you still got a discount code for Tainar batteries? And the answer to that is yes. There is a link for it in the description down below. Huge, huge thank you to them guys once again. Brilliant. Ordered that and it was here the next day. Yeah. And we've currently got a battery in this out of the Volkswagen Crafter. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah we're I gonna... think it was actually about 12 hours from you speaking to them on the phone to it was here within 12 hours so it's they are absolutely aren't fantastic <clears throat> aren't they so we are got, we're going to get that fitted but we're not going to actually connect it up just now because we need to fit that airbag module so in the last video i did pop out as well and chris managed well he actually had to take the passenger seat out disconnect some wiring harnesses and managed to move the whole console back so made quite light work of that mate yeah. really i wasn't yeah, looking forward to doing it new battery now can we no because we've got too much unplugged. That's right. So, Yeah, but so far, so good. There is lots and lots to be getting on with. I'm not going to sit here and waffle on about it. We are going to crack on, start putting some of this back together and, yeah, hopefully get it, get all of the parts back on it. Let's get so on. So very nearly forgot there, the dash pad. The damage on it. So I have actually just removed that again. It is just the four bolts. A bit of water on there, but we're going to drop this off to lead a trimmer who done the interior in the um, Porsche and he's going to do something with that. Hopefully, get that back to normal. Let's get it dropped off straight in here with a front wing. Fitted the little cover on the side of it, the little um, air guide, the little badge there, and then straight on with a wing. It is just nuts and bolts. You can't go up and down, but you want to get that line between the door and the wing absolutely perfect. So Chris concentrated on that. Got the bolts on, moved straight onto that air guide for the radiator on that side. Got the headlight in there, just again, a couple of 10 mil bolts. Got another little guide on there for the bumper, and we we'll think we're pretty much finished there with a the wing and headlight. So that's the glove box dropped off to Lee. That's going to be done for tomorrow. I've been to Guy Salmon and picked up the air guide, the wheel arch liner, but they have just moved from there. They moved from Land Rover to Jaguar, refurbed Land Rover. Now they've gone back to Land Rover temporarily and Jaguar's being refurbished and they have lost a little tiny bracket, which is such a shame. They've ordered it for me and said that it will be here for the morning as well. So. Not the end of the world there. Chris has been very, very busy while I've been gone and he's fitted that front wing and also the headlight. And he's got the wheel arches here. Yeah. And I know even like little things like that, so time consuming because all the little clips were broke. All of the tape was obviously worn out on it. So he's just gone round, cleaned those up, changed all of the clips and also put all new fresh tape on it and the PDCs that need to go into the sides there. So there's the new air guide. Chris is just getting fitted on now. Yeah. And the last bit of the jigsaw. Really. That is under, the last under the bumper. I'm so gutted though that they lost that little bracket. It's not. It is what it is. He said they <coughs> literally got told yesterday. Right, you got to move. Right. So they've moved over to one side. But it is a shame. But it, it is what it is. And I think we will be able to just get up under there tomorrow, like you said. We will. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a hand on bonnet with the bonnet. I think. Yeah. yeah and then more running around to do yeah right let's get on so chris asked for a bit of help here with a bonnet and sometimes this happens weren't until we got it up in the air and over near the car we realized that the threads that bolt it down were actually taped up so at the rest it on our heads there get the threads off get that bolted on then straight on to the uh latches on the front the catches latches what would you like to call them i guess the uh catches are on the car and the latches are on the top there or vice versa a few little bits of rubber and some bump stops on there and i think we're good with the bonnet huge thank you to car vertical for sponsoring today's video so just running our usual check on car vertical land rover range rover discovery petrol 2018 
Odometer clearly highlighted in green, so there's no issue. Same with finance, and then damaged with that yellow triangle with that warning mark. Clicking straight on damaged, we can clearly see there this vehicle was marked as an insurance write off, and it actually says there category S structural damage. Of course, you've got your market values on there, your emissions, specs, timeline, equipment, meter, financial, and legal. It is all on this must do check overview we'll start you from the beginning and i find it quite interesting when i first do a report to actually scroll through and look at every aspect of it but of course if you need to quickly go to that specific part of the check you can just hit timeline there and it will take you straight to the timeline so nine records found like the registration date, the date it was inspected, and also down there, there will be the date and ownership change and the date that it was damaged and written off as well. So 10th, 2023. I want to thank Car Vertical for the continued support on the SRUK channel. Use the little code up on screen from any browser for a nice little discount off your check, or you can hit that link in the description. Well, it will automatically apply your discount. I previously mentioned there's so many parts to a front bumper now. So the bumper itself is just a skeleton, and then it has like inserts inside it. It's got its own wiring loom, it's got its own parking sensors, it's got a camera, it's got the daytime running lights, it's got side lights. There is literally, their front bumper makes up such a large part of a car nowadays. And you can see it has taken quite a while, but I think we are pretty much there with it and that's all complete. So, we have just got our new vacuum fill. Our last one actually broke and we ended up borrowing one off someone and Chris said we must get a new one and this one has actually just arrived. It's got every single fit in, so hopefully it's the last yeah, one yeah. adapters we're ever gonna need. So just um, just having a play with it, got it on, it's vacked out. All of the pipes are actually sucked their halves in now, so they're all <laughs> folded over and we are ready to actually refill it. So we've got 11 litres of mixed, that's 50-50 and you can see I've got about five and a half litres in there. And then down there on the floor, we've got another five and a half litres. So we've got it all mixed up and we're just gonna give it a go. Gonna yeah, I'm gonna hold that in the bottom of the bottle and you don't want the bottle to run empty. So we'll suck that out and then Chris will turn the tap off and we'll swap the bottles over. So first time using this new one, wish us luck. Always? Yeah. So this, this new pipe is quite folded and dented, so it's going now, isn't it? Yeah, it's taking its time, but it's going. Speeding up now. <coughs> Bit time consuming, but you get no air in these systems. There's no need to bleed it. This is ultimately bleeding it before you've actually put the coolant in. Getting it into a vacuum. I'll tell you what though, we probably will pause there because it looks like it's gonna yeah, take- you got any jokes? No. <laughs> no jokes today? No jokes today, oh, mate. No, so no. no. ideal time for a joke. If you'd have prepared me, So on with the front bumper, I'll just give Chris a hand there and then I've gone off somewhere else. And it is nuts and bolts, clips, holding that front bumper on, all underneath the grill. So they've all got to go in there before the grill goes on. And of course you've got your bits up under your wheel arches as well. And then after he's got the front bumper on, he moves on to that front wheel arch liner. So all I've done there was help Chris lift that bumper on and he completely finished that front end and he stayed there until he'd done it, mate. And how good does that look? Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? It looks lovely. Honestly, it's the lines on it are absolutely perfect. It, 
I mean, there's no signs of that accident. That is the mm. aim of the game, mm. but it just looks fantastic. I'm going to point that out before someone oh, no, else yeah, does. Yeah. Chris didn't want to lean over to plug in the washer jets, so he's put that on there. Just a little reminder. You'll see it in some videos where he put a little bit of tape, and it just reminds him that there's a little something to do there. But so far, so good. Huge, huge thank you to Airbag Team. We sent this out to him two days ago, and I said, I'm desperate for it back, Sam. And he said, not a problem, Rob. Got that in the post first class and it arrived nine o'clock this morning so we can crack on and actually get that plugged in and get the interior back together and of course i'll need to chase up lee because i dropped that dash pad yes. to him yeah. for repair yeah. and hopefully he's got that done so mate really really looking good at the moment in this one also guy salmon are coming with that little trim i keep calling them guy salmon they're not even guy salmon anymore sitna, sitna yeah, yeah lay them over. and also, the number plate is being made. I need to pop over and pick that up. So, yeah, that's it. really, really looking good. Chris is actually going to recycle. I mean, yeah. it's a pain. They're a pain to get all that tape off, but you're oh, going to give it a go. Yeah, that's right. Right, plenty to do. Let's get on and get this one finished. Airbag module refitted. And as soon as I turn the ignition on, the light's actually gone out on its own. The... New battery from Tainar, that's fitted. So, of course, there is a link for Airbag Team in the description and also Tainar for the batteries. There is still a fault coming up on here, which is SOS, limited functionality. Hopefully, we don't have that same drama I had on the Evoke. And it is still coming up. There's quite a lot of codes in here still. Well, four, five. Five codes, body control module. And I did see it just said restraint system. There was quite a lot. So read fault codes. Oh, left headlamp. Of course, we've had all that unplugged, haven't we? Yeah. Let's go to clear DTCs, all of them together. Chris, yeah. is that a delivery? Yes. I've been waiting for that. That's Lamb Rover. I know I, know I was going to um, run up for that, but Chris has just gone. Right, we're still getting a few faults here. Passenger front seat module one, telematrix control unit one, and body control unit. What is that in the BCM? Read fault codes. Central configuration, missing calibration. Central configuration, not configured. I think we go in, tell this Land Rover that it's had a new battery, clear these again, run it up, Get it up to temperature. We've bled all that cooling system, haven't we? And then I think we'll do a rescan on it, but most of the codes have gone and that airbag light. It's gone out, hasn't it? So it's just run flat light and SOS limited functionality and whatever's still coming up on here. So, right, let's carry on. We have really turned a corner on this one now. All the back is back together. All the inside is back together, apart from that glove box. But I've just got off the phone to Lee, and it's done. He's going to pop it round to us in the next hour. Land Rover have just arrived with the little clip that Chris needed to go underneath the bumper, and he is now going to start the process while I whip out and get the number plate of trying to save that badge. Good luck. We'll see. You're not saving that one you got. Unfortunately, the eye is missing. Well, your eye's missing? Yeah. Uh, so we've got to use the one off the uh, replacement bonnet. Off the, re the replacement bonnet, the one that we got with that bonnet. Right, we'll leave you to do that. I'm going to get you a number plate. So there it is, mate. Yeah, yeah. Comes what, together nice, doesn't it? What a beautiful car. Again, we'll have to chuck in that little reminder of what this one did look like when it rolled in here just a few weeks ago. And I think we're all in agreement. That mm. has come out lovely. Very, very nice car. I mean, obviously, still these little bits, but we'll yep. get on to that in a moment. But yep. overall, we couldn't be happier with that car, no, could we? No. Shall I start it up? Yeah, start it. You've got the key, mate. Yep. 
I want a dash as well. That's all completely back together. Lee yep. done a cracking job. Yeah, looks good, doesn't on it? On that dash, yeah. Airbag light goes out. TPMS light. So we, yeah, we've got TPM, uh, tire pressure. We've got TPMS and we've also spare got... Wheel. TPMS for the spare, look. Just come up, check spare. I'll oh, did the, it? Um, might need a bit of air in it, won't it? I don't think you'd be able to read the spare wheel. It came up, check spare. That's yeah, come up again if you... Put yeah, it no, there. I'm just not sure how it can possibly read the spare <coughs> wheel, but... Regardless, it's that's odd, isn't it? Yeah, they all want check in, mate. What is next for it? It's quite filthy, yeah. and MOT. Yeah, I, I guess think... I'll, I'll ring up see if I can get it booked yeah. in, and then we're um, it's gone I'll out now. Crunch the numbers time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. All right, mate. airbag lights out, isn't it? Yeah, everything's out. It's going to be a, a, a lot of crunch numbers, isn't it? I think so, it's but got a lot of bits. This one wasn't. Yeah, it? but it has worked out well. All of the, all of the bits all have been available quick. now. All come together. They quick, did, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, lots of so, eBay, and um, yeah, yeah, lots of eBay, main dealer, um, yeah, and just a bit of searching. But it, it did all come together. Yeah. Right, mate. Let me go and get this cleaned and actually get it booked in for an MOT. I'll see how much it's got, oh, and get it out for a road test. Yeah. So here we go. The numbers and. Considering what that car looked like when it come in, I didn't think we'd be doing these just yet. No, no. How are we doing what, it? Like, so you, yeah, uh, it's up to you. Shall I read them out and you say the price or the other way around? What do you want to uh, I'll read them out. Yeah, you I, read them out just quickly. I can for, read my own writing better, can't I? Perfect. Just before you do, we're not in the office because Dan's around there just finishing it off. So we're, we're here today. So let's do it in the cold, Chris. So, right, purchase price. £8,400 plus the fees. And I think everyone would agree that was a bloody bargain for I that car. So, yeah. And it was it was down as a non-runner, which really, really, I'm going to say it again, and I'm probably going to shoot myself in the foot here, it really does pay when they're down as a non-runner. Yeah. And they are quite it's straight. A gamble. It's always a gamble, but, but it does work in your favour. Yes, yeah. really. So total was 918480. Again, they don't mind asking on the old fees. Then we got delivery. Miles too heavy for, for my yeah. truck, but it was broke down at the time. Yeah. And we got that from MKR, 150 quid. And that was only because he was coming this way. Then we got a bonnet. 300 pounds. Uh, bumper. 350. Crash bar. 100 pounds. A wing. 100 pounds. Chassis extension. 50. Well, Piece of chassis, yeah, the little cap on the yeah, end, right. 50 pounds, and that all came from where did that all come from? Reclamet, Reclamet, and then we've got the dearest front panel ever, mm. just for that. Literally, that it was it plastic front panel, uh, I think it's aluminium, isn't it? With like a plastic coating, coating. yeah. We got it off eBay completely bare, 444 pounds 10p. And it, I know that sounds like a strange price. But it was actually a lot more, and when you put it in your watch list, eBay now, after a couple of days, yeah. they send you a better offer. A discount, a yeah. 5% discount, wasn't it, or something? Chris missed it. It was in his watch list. He said, put that in your watch list, yeah. and the next day I got, got it, it, and I bought you? it, yeah. And then we got Rad Pack. I drove to London to get that. Yeah. It was £350. Uh, headlights, pair of headlights. £100 each, £200. Then we got that auxiliary radiator, which was brand new, but on eBay. Wasn't From it? a Land Rover specialist, yeah, yeah 96 75 Then we've got that charge cooler and the associated pipe work. £185. Uh, drive, drive belt pulley. £28.34. And a new drive belt we put on it, didn't we? £26.92. Auxiliary belt, that should yeah. read. Uh, airbox. Again, I'm going to mention this. Four hundred pound they was on oh, there some for. Of them were silly price, some of them were like five fifty. Don't ask me why, but I'll even say their name. Synetic listed that airbox by accident for fifty five pound, and we took full advantage of that. We did. And pressed buy it now. Yeah. Fifty five pound for that airbox, unbelievable. Um, then we got that airbox pipe. Yeah, one hundred and thirteen pound fourteen p. Um, coolant link pipe. That was that. Yeah, thirty nine ninety nine. Um, engine cover, fifty pound. Um, Again, that was quite difficult to get. Being a two litre petrol, mm, it's different. It is grill, 
50 pounds. Uh, then we've got, I've added these together, Rob. We've got the front panel shutters and then the plastic air guide that you got from the main dealer. Yeah. Um, £222.44p. And then we've got auxiliary red duct, right hand. £40. Auxiliary red duct, left hand. 42 Now the one... Was that 42 Yeah. 42 that's, 70. that's brand new. So we bought a second hand one for £40 yeah. off eBay, and then I bought a brand new one from the dealer for 42 70 And that was only because the other side was on back order. It was, yeah. Uh, and then we got uh, auxiliary red mounting brackets... So there's the actual holder, and then there's that piece that clips Locks in. in the top. Yeah, so combined price for... 64.24. And then the other, so that was the left hand, and then the right hand, two S pieces again. 60.59. Then we got a brand new wheel arch liner, front half. £105 on eBay. Bought yeah. a brand new one from the dealer, 89.81. Still a lot of money. It is a lot of money, just for a front half. It, it is, yeah. And then, where are we? Dashboard, airbag and seatbelt kit. Really. £360. I did mention when we was doing yeah. it. That was so cheap. Good price, that Yeah. Way. Then we've got SRS module reset. You're going to mention how we come to... We are. That come from airbag team did that for us. And I, if you don't ask, you don't get in life. And I rung him up, as Sam we deal with there. And I said, for some reason, Sam, when I bought an airbag kit for a Land Rover, no, first I asked him how much two yeah. front seat belts were. Yeah. And he said they're about £100 each to reset. For some reason, we ended up with two extra yeah. front seat belts. I said, well, I've got two front seat belts here. If you send me a postage label, I'll pack them up now with my module. And, send, and basically, I sent him the seat belts and the module. He sent us back the module free of charge. Um, and then we've got that dash repair on that upper glove box. Yeah, Lady Magic Men, Magic £65. Pounds. Uh, number plate. Tenor. Uh, battery was... That was sponsored, sponsored. yeah, um, from Tannar. Yeah. Um, Antifreeze. Is there a discount code for that? In the there is, it's in the description, description. and it's up on screen. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, antifreeze. 25. Then we've got uh, those specialist rivets and a specialist glue from Worth UK. £90. Pounds. Yeah, uh, we... It was around that number, wasn't it? Yeah. We rounded it up a little bit there. Uh, coolant hose. 39.99. Yep. Oh, we're on to page two. We're on to page two now, mate. So we got... Nearly there, uh, guys. Bumper mounting bracket. £17.50. And then we got a pair of headlight mounting brackets. £18.12 each, 36.24. Uh, key... New key... Uh, ele ele case. Casing. With a blade, £11.58. Uh, and then Smarts. J JW Smarts, right, is the interesting one. It was £1,500, but you will notice we only had the bonnet, the wing, and the front bumper done. And that was because we knew that we could get this video wrapped up, mm. and we couldn't get that car there unless we paid a load of money to get it delivered there, because you can't drive it in pieces. So Chris came up with the idea, he went, why don't we get that painted, that painted, that painted, get the car finished, yeah. now we can drive that car over, leave it there and have all the side of it painted. Yeah. So that was the plan with that. It's probably cost us a little bit more, but not as much as paying a recovery. To like drop it off, yeah, ways. and then bring it back, yeah. yeah. Um, then we got MOT. 50 pounds. Valet. 30 pounds. And air conditioning gas. 80 pounds. And I think that is everything, Rob, which comes to a grand total of... An absolute bargain. I think so. £14,709.13p for a 2018 Discovery 5. Which they paid out. Fully loaded, paid out £35,000 on that car. And we only found one like for like, but in all honesty, it is exactly a year newer yeah. and it has done 40k, 40K instead of 50 And that's up for 42000 quid. Yeah. Where do you want to be with that car? They paid out 35. That one on there's a year newer, 42. Yeah. We're going to ask for that car, 25 grand. And that ain't going to be the cheapest one in the country. That's going to be the cheapest one in the world. Nice. And, and that is also giving us one of our best pre-tax profits to date of £10,290.87p. But... You eagle-eyed lot out there, I mean, your poker face is crap, I'm going to say it. <laughs> it's absolutely crap. <clears throat> that car is going to be for sale, yeah. and it is going to be available soon, but not yet. No. Chris is going to snag that car, yeah. he's going to run around in it. 
you will see me list the Volvo for sale. The Volvo's going. So the Volvo that Chris has been using, which is yeah. a V40 Momentum, a yeah. state car, 2020, 2020 unrecorded. Yeah. That's going to be up for sale um, probably in a few days after watching this video. Yeah. Or no, it's not. It'll be for sale at the weekend. Yeah. I'll put it out yeah. the weekend. Now, Chris is going to run around and snag this until he finds something that we're both looking for. Yeah. Now, Chris really does fancy something. We're not yeah. going to ruin it and say what it is. I have to do that. But, maybe. yeah, definitely hide your face. Yeah. We are trying to find that car for him, and that will be a keeper. So he's going to run around in that for the meantime. The next exciting bit of news, and it is exciting, because I've been running around quite giddy for two <laughs> days over this. We have got a cracking video for your Sunday. I'm not going to give it away too much, but... This is going to be epic, and it is our first ever all-electric car. It is. That's all I'm going to say, and it looks quite scary, the damage. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Drop your comments and your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget, if you want to offer us your car, it's salessiuk at gmail.com. If you know someone selling a car, recently crashed their car, had an accident, and wants to sell it, we'll always pay a good finder's fee as well. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you very, very soon in the next one. Oh, and Instagram, Selvage Rebuilds. Oh, yes. And Instagram for Chris is Selvage Rebuilds Chris.